Howdy guys, yeehaw! We're here in Glitter Gulch Mine, and uh, welcome back to Let's Play Bed to Do It, yeehaw! Oh, and there we have it. Five pages at last, come see me in Grunty's old lair at Spiral Mountain. Jeez, now I got it. Yeah, I already know where you're at. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, man, those tacos are hitting me. Um, hang on a sec, guys. I'll be back. My stomach is really hurting me. Okie dokie, artichokies, I'm back. Sorry about that. Holy wow. I really had to go to the bathroom because of that, but anyway, I'd rather not describe that. So, we're going to start off the level. Guns blazing. We're going to step on a switch that looks like it has a blue cloud with white raindrops on it. It actually just has like a bar gate with, uh, I guess, water, if you want to call it that. I don't know. Looks a little weird, but stepping on this switch is going to open Zet up. Yes, Zet up. You know, like a zibuz or Z out now. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the Brendan shoes, like, as you can see, and make like Jesus here and walk on water. You know, like Tim Allen goes in Santa Claus, just watch him walk on water. Anyway. Okay, so, we're going to beat the clock, and yeah, we do. Sweet! Victorious! Victorious! Yeah! And then we're going to dive right down here. Uh, about a 7.5 for that uh, belly flop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, excuse me. I've actually, I remember doing a belly flop for my first time. Ouch, with a capital O, is all I could say. Would not advise. Go Nuggets! Yay! Sorry. I'm going to try and remember to do that, like, every time. Well, maybe not every time, because that would get annoying fast, because there's like, uh, I don't know how many of those, there's like 80 or 90 of those things, and I'm sure listening to me go, go nugget 90 times or more would probably get old fast. Speaking of which, I hope you guys don't mind the uh, minor change I have this time around. Every time I go crazy for the uh, golden-shaped puzzle piece, and I'm not going to say because I don't want it to pop up on the screen. Go Nugget! Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> I hope you don't mind that. That's kind of my way to hold off, hold up a counter. I don't really have a way to have an image plus put text up there as far as like my editing software is concerned, so I apologize. That's all you get, but hey, it took me like an entire night's worth to figure out how to get a freaking image to pull up in Windows Movie Maker at that. Yeah, that's right. I'm using Windows Movie Maker, folks. Oh my gosh. I didn't think it was possible to like put an image over my video content. There's another Cheeto page, by the way. But apparently it is, using downloading stuff with Papa John's Layout, or whatever the heck it's called. It's kind of a weird thing, but you download something, you just basically Google it, and you find like a Windows Movie Maker forum. That's where I found mine. Somebody asked a question, and then somebody gave an answer, and I just used that, I just used that person's answer, which contained like a link to download stuff. It was like an app or add-on for Windows Movie Maker. And then when I did that, I basically can add any image I want to. Heck, I can add somebody picking their nose if I wanted to. I don't know if I should do that. <laughs> just randomly throw that out there just for laughs. Who knows? Mm, she can on noses. My nose is itchy! Stop it! Bad mustache! Bad mustache! Pfft, mustache fart. Okay. Isn't this lovely? We're inside the crushing shed here. I can see why they uh, call it that. I don't know, should I? I'll just go. Might as well. I'm trying to avoid being crushed, but it's not like an instant death. You would think it would be an instant death because how nasty that looks, you know, just the way it's coming down like that. You would think it'd flatten and just completely KO and knock out all of our honeycombs. But, nope, it only takes one damage, actually, if you got squashed by any of those. Anywho, you want to come in here and press that switch. Uh, and I don't really know how much time I have because I was in the bathroom for quite some time. So, hopefully, I don't go over my time. Well, there's no time limit. What are you talking about, fool? No, actually, what I mean, when I talk about time limit, guys, I mean, like, um, how do I put it this way? Your attention span time limit. <laughs> That's what I'll put it as. Because I honestly am not, I'm not confident myself to be entertaining enough to, you know what, I'm not going to use the warp. I don't need to do that yet, anyway. And, you know, entertaining enough, excuse me, let me finish my thought here, to keep you guys... Um, engrossed in what I have to say, because I truthfully, I just, I'm not really all that entertaining in real life, you know, in real life, I kind of, I can sound like this, the simple, 
stereotypical dr lone drone guy, you know, that you could know, see that you probably know that sits next to you in class, or happens to probably teach your class if you're unfortunate to have a class with a groaning, with a groaning, droning teacher. This here class is how you solve the equation. Bueller. 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 Oh, sorry. I was gonna quote that one chick what she says, but I can't remember all what all she says. This makes breaking so much fun, and listen up to how it's done. Leap high in the air and hold Z. Watch Kazooie spin and drill with her heat. Aha, uh -huh. that didn't rhyme. Shut up, punk! Deus meist! That was not a rhyme. That was totally not a rhyme. You fail. You fail epically. Actually, it's probably something else you have to pronounce it as. I don't know. It's called sight rhyming, you punk! Now get it right! Jeez. He's gonna haunt- that voice is gonna haunt me to the grave. Darn tootin'! Oh, great. Anywho, we now have the ability to do another type of stop, actually, which is really cool. See, normally, if you just press A uh, to jump up and then Z, you, do, you would just do the Beak Buster, which is the move we learned in the last game. Now, if you press A to jump up and then hold Z when we press it, Kazooie will do like a build drill sort of thing, like she's fixing to drill the ground, like some kind of, um, whatchamacallit, jackhammer, if you will. Or, I guess another... Uh, yeah, I think that's probably the best description, jackhammer, yeah. Because she's pretty, she pretty much, like, really crams her head down into the ground just to drill up something. Like she's, Dude, what, what is going on here? Are you seriously having trouble climbing a cliffside? Man, what, I don't even want to know how you're going to do if you're in pterodactyl land or in frickin' cuckoo cloud land or cuckoo cloud land, however you pronounce the dang thing. Jeez, you're gonna have some serious problems if you're having trouble with this. This is World 2, folks. Jeez. Man, I put shame to y'all's names. Oh, Prospector's Hut. Howdy! Who might you be? I'm Bill! I'll bet your other name is Gold Related. Hee <laughs> What is it? Gold Bar Bill? Or Klondike Bill? No, only on Bill's my name. I thought so. What's up, Bill? My rodent partner, Dilberta, went looking for gold. But she's been gone far too long. Hmm, well, we'll keep a look out for her. Not so fast, Banjo. Make sure he makes it worth our while. Oh, uh, right, okay. Uh, can we have a prize if we find her? Oh, you shady folk are all alike. I wonder where she could be. Aw. Sad face. I'm sure I came in through a tunnel. Hmm, foreshadow. Well, we can't help them now, unfortunately, but I gotta say, I'm gonna point our attention out to this. Right here on this picture. Okay, I see Dilberta there, and I see Bolion Bill right here. But what in the world is this red thing right here? Okay. Now, there are two hypotheses I have for this. The first is that that's his tongue, which I'm assuming is probably what it is. And if it is, what the heck's he doing? Is he fixing the tongue her? Because that don't that picture don't need to be hanging on the wall if that sort of thing's going on. The other one, which is more PG appropriate, is she is giving him some food. That's a possibility too. That, or they're trying to say maybe that's fire right there, and then their relationship has a fiery passion, in which case I probably also shouldn't be hanging on the wall, but whatever. Anyway, if you come over here and take a look. <laughs> Classic. Nice. Yeah, that's right. Books are great book uh, door stoppers, and they're awesome for balancing that table out. Guff beans. Nice. And this is a comfy looking bed. <laughs> Lovely. Looks like they took the dining... Looks like they have like a two sets of tables. One from like a... that they took from park, you know, a picnic bench table, or a picnic, picnic a bench, you know, hey boo boo, anyway, and then the other they just took, just and said, here, here's our bed, okay, so, let's see here, what are we gonna do, besides wander around aimlessly, well, now that we've learned our build drill move, I do kind of want to return back toward the direction that we came in, so let's do that, because I'll forget to do this otherwise later, there's actually an area that's way over here by this waterfall, and it's a bit of a nasty place to go to, so I probably would advise that when you go in here, you uh, make sure you don't trap yourself. <laughs> Excuse me, behind anything, there I go. 
I was saying I was trying to hold it back. But no, you gotta sit there and burp in everybody's face. Go belch. Anyway, let's go ahead and build roll in here. That's not what we want. There's something in here that we do want, though. Let's see if this is it. Yeah, this is one of them, actually. Here's a honeycomb ring. And I think the Jinjo is the last thing you want to get in here, so we're going to leave this room, because I think the rest are just eggs or feathers, basically. Hang on, let me look at something here. Oh, cool, sweet. So, the day I'm recording this is the day I actually uploaded the last part to Super Mario Sunshine. Woohoo! That's kind of a sad thing, but a good thing in one sense, because that thing took quite a bit of time, simply because I kept, like, delaying the inevitable... Uh, taking my sweet time going through stuff, and it's all and it's also kind of like a disappointment drags. I'm like I'm actually actually started having fun let's playing again. I mean, it's not to say I wasn't having fun at all during doing let's plays for you guys. You know, during the time during a few times uh, over the past year, it's just that I don't know. Maybe I kept getting dragged down because of the whole university thing. That that crap right there was just ugh. I put the real I put like a damper on everything, pretty much, because I mean, I, I mean to tell you, oof, it was just such a freaking nightmare going through that, just trying to get into the university, because of the, or, cause you have to go through all these processes and steps, and it's just such a pain in the booty, and on top of that, it's very time consuming, so not only was I being put through torture, I was being made to do it uh, in a very lengthy, drawn-out amount of time, so basically I had no time for recording or anything else, and I'm like, this is crap. So not only am I doing crap garbage that's not fun, I'm also having to do it, you know, quickly, or not quickly, I'm, I, I'm having to do it instead of doing something fun. Do I want to go this way? Yeah, I better go this way, or I'm going to forget to otherwise. I feel like I'm not supposed to go this way yet, though. Feel like tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good night. I wasn't supposed to go this way, but tonight's still gonna be a good, good night. I totally butchered that, yeah. I shouldn't try to sing, I know I can't, but then again, you know, sometimes it helps offset the mood. Anywho, right in here is the generator room. What you're going to do is you're going to take fire eggs and you're going to spit them in these little machines. Shazam! And like that, we have light. Yay! And we didn't need to collect any shine sprites for this. Yes! Oh yeah! Alrighty, what's that? The power's out? No worries! Here's another generator and this one lights up the next area. So we can proceed to the next section! Now, you do want to kind of be careful, I will say this to you guys, because yes, yeah, you are here, now we have a gap to jump over. OMG. Alrighty, so now the next generator is actually off in the distance here, and we have to use our technique we learned back in the first world, called Egg Aim. So, let us proceed. Why am I sounding like I'm talking like a lecturer or a teacher? Jeez, man. Good lord, man. Don't bore your audience to tears. <laughs> it's so boring! Why are you doing this to a silent senior? I'm sorry, guys. I'll try better. Ooh, this is a nasty part. I gotta get across here quick, or else that's gonna really screw me over. Alright, this one right here you don't need to hit, but I like to do it just because it's, be it's better to see him, see this crazy goon that tries to knock you over that goes, yeehaw! And right up here is Goon Nugget! Yay! Oh, yeah. He's not a gold nugget. He's a gold nugget. Who's got a gold nugget? I got a gold nugget. Okay, now I'm just spamming. Nice. Quit spamming, dude. Seriously. Oh, man. Oh, stretching my back. Stretching my back. Oh, it feels good to stretch my back. Why do I keep doing that? I think it's just the way this corridor turns. Dang it. Don't do that. Don't go back the way you came. Jeez. Ugh, that's so frustrating when you do that in this game. It's so easy to do that, too. I didn't actually mean to come this way, but, you know, we did what we did, so we'll just have to live with the consequences and move on from there. Accept the, uh, outcome no matter what. We do like those people off the Gold Nugget Bridge. Do our best and have no regrets. Alright, now, let's see here. I don't know how we're on, uh, what we're doing on time, but I hope we're not, like, going over. Because I'm gonna try and keep to where I have, uh... An intro outro, sort of. 
Well, maybe not intro outro, but maybe remember to say goodbye to you guys every time you have to depart, you know? That's kind of a common courtesy thing, I suppose, I should try to invoke more of. Alrighty, so over here's a Globo. And we're gonna go ahead and build drill this boulder here. This boulder, man. I'm telling you, these boulders just need to get out of my way, man. Saros. Okay, so. I think we'll go ahead and pay a visit to Mumbo, because he's actually got a couple things we gotta do. But I reckon we'll do that next time on Let's Play Banjo Tooie! I will see you guys next time. Love y'all bunches. Please don't let your tail slap. And as question of the video, um, what grosses you out the most? Seriously. Something that is just so icky that it just totally grosses you out. It can be a nasty habit, or it can be something that, or an animal, or a nasty, slimy thing that really just, ugh, turns your stomach. Let me know in the comments, and I'll be glad to read them. Peace out, y'all.